What happens if you put an apple in water for a year? The final result might not be what you expect. First, use a stand to secure the apple, then fill a transparent box with water so the apple is isolated from the air. Next, wrap the container tightly with plastic wrap to prevent the water from evaporating. In the first few days, the apple didn't show any obvious changes, but by the fourth day, the water started to turn cloudy. By the sixth day, yellow spots had started to appear on the surface of the apple, and the spots kept increasing until the whole apple turned yellow. By the 16th day the apple already looked rotten, and some white substance was oozing out from inside the apple. By the 21st day, the apple began to get lighter, and slowly started to float a little. By the 30th day, the water had become so cloudy that it was hard to see through. This state continued until the 100th day, when the apple entered a stable phase. At the same time, white cotton-like substances appeared on the surface, and the apple became fibrous. Then fast-forwarding to a year later, the apple had completely lost its original color, turning into a yellow apple, and even that yellow had become dull. The water in the entire tank had become completely murky, but the apple inside still seemed to be intact. When the plastic wrap was removed, there was a layer of black chocolate-like substance on the surface of the water. This was caused by pigments from the decaying apple and the accumulation of metabolic byproducts from microorganisms. Then, after peeling away this black substance, underneath it was layer upon layer of jelly-like coagulated material, while the yellow substance was likely the separated fruit flesh resulting from decay. It wasn't until the moment the apple was taken out that we could see it look like an empty shell, but relatively intact, with an appearance similar to that of a canned yellow peach. It was only after we cut it open that we discovered the flesh inside had completely softened, and even the seeds had turned into a fine, delicate texture. Even after being left in water for a year, the apple did not develop any unpleasant odor. This may be because the water isolated it from the air, slowing down the processes of oxidation and decay. When the remains of this apple were taken out of the water and exposed to air, it began to turn black rapidly in just two days, to the point where you could hardly tell it was an apple anymore. This is the power of oxidation.